What is up guys, Joe here, back with another video. Today is Tuesday, September 14, 2021, and Zscaler is up over 3% intraday today. Zscaler is trending, and I wanted to do some technical analysis and some price predictions for the week. So let's take a look. So looking at today's news, there were no real headlines. Zscaler did report earnings on September the 9th, which was five days ago, and actually the stock did fall on missed revenue and missed projections. So now we are recovering from this dip from a couple of days ago. We did go as low as 261. Currently we close at 275. So we are in this recovery mode. It is a great cybersecurity name with solid fundamentals and a great roadmap. And if we jump over to Finviz, no real headlines today, only on September 9th, where they reported their earnings and they missed analyst expectations. So looking at today's headlines, we did get one from Investors Business Daily. These are the five best stocks to buy and watch now. And Motley Fool. Watch Zscaler's next big growth opportunity. So not a lot of giant catalysts moving the stock upward. So looking at a couple of analyst buy ratings, we do see UBS gave it a new price target of 295 from 225. We see RBC Capital Markets also gave it an outperform of 326. Piper Sandler has a new price target of 285. Mizu has a price target of 320. And lastly, Canaccord Genuity has a price target of 340. So if we look at the weekly chart, we do see that Zscaler has been trading in this range. It has been trading within this channel. So this bottom line here would act as support. And your top line up here, your pink line would act as resistance. So as you can see, it's been range bound. And we can look at it the same way within TradingView. We go ahead and look at the daily chart and we can grab our trend line tool here and draw support down here and above we can draw our resistance line drop it here and what do we see we do see a, an ascending wedge pattern forming so what this means is the stock is trading in this tight range and once it reaches its breaking point up here, it will either resolve to the upside or resolve to the downside. And being that it's a solid name, it's a cybersecurity name with solid fundamentals, I do expect Zscaler to break out to the upside. So now looking at the trend line, we do see it is bouncing off support. So every time it touches the support line, it bounces and recovers upward. Same here, touches support and bounces. Touch and bounce. And lastly here, another touch and a rebound. Now looking at it in the same way on the resistance line, we do see it got rejected here at the roughly 294 mark so that was resistance for c scaler so moving forward i do expect c scaler to be range bound within this channel and eventually break out to the upside we can also draw some fibonacci zones to analyze what price zone z scaler is trading in and potentially at what price it can reach so on the daily chart you want to zoom out a bit Minimize this just a tad and you want to grab your Fib retracement tool. You want to find the lowest point of the stock. This was in March. Drop your first anchor here. Now stretch it upward and find your highest point up here and go ahead and drop your second anchor at the very top of the line like that. And just to make it easier to view, I'm just going to scoot this over just a bit and stretch it out. So we do see a support line at the bottom. The support line being annotated by this dashed line. So go ahead and zoom out just a tad so we can get a better visual picture of where the zones are. So as you can see, currently Zscaler is trading roughly between the 78% and the 100% zone. So we are range bound within this zone. 
So support here would be the $237 mark would act as support and absolute resistance all time high would be 293. So once Zscaler is able to break its previous all time high here, I do expect it to continue running upward and reach some of those price targets we mentioned earlier, including a price target of 320 and 340 mentioned by some of the analysts. So this is a long term view, something that is weeks or months away and more of a swing trader mentality. And this is a time you do want to use Fibonacci zones and moving averages to calculate when a good entry point is for C scalar in the long term. So now if we minimize this just a tad above it, we do have Fibonacci extensions. So if C scalar is able to break its all time highs here, it can make a jump higher to the next price level of the 127% zone and that is a dollar value of 364 that would be your first price target and from there your next price target would be 455 eventually and that would land it at the 161% Fibonacci extension Again, this is a long term view. I do expect volatility along the way. But if you wanted to get a micro picture of some price levels and some day trading action, I would recommend using pivot points instead. So let's go ahead and draw some pivot points and see where the stock could head this week. And that. so if you're wondering what a pivot point is, a pivot point itself is simply the average of the intraday high and low and the closing price from the previous trading day on the subsequent day trading above the pivot point is thought to indicate ongoing bullish sentiment while trading below the pivot point indicates bearish sentiment so you want to jump over back into trading view and turn on your pivot point traditional indicator here we are so now let's go ahead and zoom in here so your pivot point here is annotated by this white line anything below this level would be considered bearish and anything above would be considered bullish and currently we are trading between the pivot point and the first level of resistance which is the r1 r1 would be your first level of resistance and above that the r2 would be your second level of resistance so because we did get a bounce here on this candlestick on the pivot point i do expect zscaler to continue higher this week and the first price target level for Zscaler this week would be R1 and that is a price target of 295 and above that once that is broken our next price target here at R2 would be $312. Now for some reason if we were to break this bull run we can see Zscaler potentially get rejected and head lower so the first level of support would be the pivot point itself and that would be $262. If that is broken, our first level of support below that would be the S1 and that price level here would be 245. And below that, if we were to have a sell off, our second level of support would be the $212 mark. So I am bullish on the stock and I do anticipate Zscaler to recover and continue trading higher so keep an eye out for resistance levels and breaking the all-time highs so currently an entry point at around the 275 to the 276 dollar mark is a great entry point you can get in here and expect the stock to move higher keep in mind we are at market all-time highs and the spy index has been trading sideways for a bit so if you are able to make a profit on this name something small like a 10 or 20 percent gain i would recommend selling and securing your profit while the market decides on its next potential move so i hope you found this information helpful if you have any questions please leave a question in the comment section i'll be happy to respond don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you on the next one